Among patients with non-small cell lung cancer whose tumors are small and have not spread to lymph nodes, lobectomy has been the surgical standard of care for decades. But recent advances in lung cancer screening and staging methods have allowed the earlier detection of tumors. It's unknown whether lobectomy is still a better option than sublobar resection in patients with early disease. In this multicenter international randomized phase 3 non-inferiority trial, 697 patients with peripherally located non-small cell lung cancer, clinically staged as T1A and 0, were assigned to undergo either lobar resection or sublobar resection. The latter could include anatomical segmentectomy or wedge resection. Disease-free survival, which was the primary endpoint, after sublobar resection was non-inferior to that after lobectomy. Disease-free survival at five years was 63.6% in the sublobar resection group and 64.1% in the lobar resection group. Overall survival, a key secondary endpoint, was also similar in the two groups. Patients with sublobar resection had slightly less decline in lung function than those with lobectomy. The authors conclude that among patients with clinical stage T1A and 0 non-small cell lung cancer, sublobar resection was non-inferior to lobectomy for disease-free survival. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.